Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Let's begin with a look at the weather headlines. Few weather changes through the weekend. Mainly sunny and hot afternoons. Pleasant overnight low temperatures. Triple digits this weekend and then an eye to the tropics next week. And for all you golf fans out there, one of the majors coming up tomorrow. U.S. Open kicks off in the morning bright and early. 91 degrees at Pinehurst number 2. Pinehurst, North Carolina. Near perfect weather. Mostly sunny about 91 for day number one of the U.S. Open back here in the Concho Valley. We're scanning the skies, not picking up any thunderstorm activity as we did at this time yesterday. And really, one or two showers still possible over in the eastern portion, but not too likely at all. Here's what's happening across Texas. Things have really started to dwindle as far as rain is concerned. Over the past few hours, had some heavy storms here, but as you notice, as we get to the end of this loop, they're starting to weaken just a little bit as they head down to around uh, Port A, Rockport, and Corpus Christi. We have temperatures still in the middle 80s here in Coleman, 86, 87 in Brady, 89 in Mason, Menard, 87, 86 in Eden. But the farther west you go, well, the hotter it gets. 94 in Mertz and 94 right now in Big Lake with Sterling City coming in at 92. Folks down in Sonora, 90 degrees. Here's how we compare to the rest of the Lone Star State. Hot in El Paso, 106, 101 in Laredo, it's 98 in Fort Stockton, but low 80s down here around Houston, 81 degrees. As we look at the tropics on a day-to-day -day basis, and you just saw the news story about all the heavy rain going through Florida, there's this uh, area of low pressure. There's still a 10% chance it will move into the Atlantic and become a system, maybe a weak one. We'll wait and see, but damage already done. All this heavy rain down here, Miami, all the way back across the Florida Peninsula. As you saw, they've had several inches of rain, lots of flooding. But this same area was in a severe drought, probably won't be when the drought monitor comes out uh, tomorrow, but we shall see. Or what we're going to be watching uh, over the next few days is the southern Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche. And there could be a low pressure area trying to develop here Maybe this weekend, early next week, some of the forecast models will take it towards South Texas. And whether it's an actual name system or just an area of low pressure, it could bring moisture into the Lone Star State, and that could result in some rain across West Texas if it moves in the right direction. Well, for tomorrow, not much going on here. Mostly sunny skies as we go through Thursday. Thursday evening, not too much taking place. Friday. Overnight Thursday night, Friday morning, again, mostly clear skies. Uh, and just a quiet weather pattern is what we are in for the next several days. Tonight, 72 for your low, mostly clear with pleasant temperatures and light wind. For tomorrow, hot one, 99 degrees, mostly sunny, hot afternoon, but the wind not too strong from the southeast at 5 to 10. Your seven-day forecast, likewise Friday, 99 degrees, but Saturday, 100, Sunday, 101. And Monday, 100 degrees, maybe by this time next week, cooling down a little bit and a slight chance of rain back in the forecast.